We're in North Wales for three days to uncover the most incredible places to explore and photograph. And oh boy, it does not disappoint. How good is this? There'll be off-track adventuring straight out of Middle Earth. I just lost my leg there. Some of the most breathtaking views you'll ever come across. Unexpected delights in a fairy kingdom and picturesque castles to roam. This lead. Oh, goodness gracious. Seriously? How do we get out? It's a trap. We experience all the weathers <laughs> and saw more rainbows in three days than we've seen in the last year. It's so different from my usual scenes photographing Australia's landscapes. And since Danny and I are only in Wales and Northern England for three weeks, we want to soak up the very best they have to offer. And I suspect that Snowdonia in North Wales could just be one of the most awe-inspiring places in all of Britain. Come along and see if we're right. First thing we needed to do was actually get to Snowdonia after spending a windy day prior in Pembrokeshire and the weather began as it meant to continue for our time in North Wales. Wet! We headed off early to make the most of our day with our first stop at the picturesque burial chamber of Pentra Ivan in country Wales. While it's called a burial chamber and some think the stones were once covered in a massive mound of earth no evidence for burials has actually been found here, so its purpose could well have been something completely different. I think it's moss shelter. That's why they build it. See, it keeps you out of the rain when you want to fast. Fair enough. Whatever its purpose, there is no doubt what an impressive feat the construction was. Occurring over 5,000 years ago, the capstone weighs around 16 tonnes and has been split from a larger stone. I think people might have known some stuff that we didn't think they know. This is praying to the stone gods. She's offering a gift of camera. See how she bows before the stone god. Please accept my gift. headed north for a pleasant drive of a few hours before reaching our next stop of the day. The last approach was up a hairy road, best described as a goat track. The IQ test. Setting off on the walk called the Panorama. I wonder what's at the top. sure why.
Oh, oh fully booked. Lucky oh. we got in early. Uh oh, that wasn't there before. Wales has to be one of the best places in the world to visit medieval castles, in large part due to the prodigious castle building of King Edward I of England, who built no less than 17 castles during his reign to ensure his control over Wales. This hall would have had roof in here. With floors and buildings and all sorts of stuff in it. Harlech Castle is one of these, and like many of Edward I's castles, it was built right by the sea to enable reprovisioning by boat should the castle become besieged. Look, no dancing. Unlike the ones we visited a few days later, however, the ocean no longer laps at the castle's base. But there is still a commanding view of the surrounding countryside from the battlements. Our last stop of the day was at this place, which is part of Britain's remaining Celtic rainforests. Last stop for the day is this beautiful woodland on the way to where we're staying. Unfortunately, we haven't had a lot of time in here, probably about half an hour. The light is really fading fast and uh, we need to get a move on to, to get to our accommodation. Would have liked to spend more time here, but that's the way life is on a, on a uh, holiday. There's never, never enough time for all the stuff you want to see. The next day was our first foray into the mountainous region of Snowdonia, and the low cloud and rain promised to make our walk an atmospheric one, just perfect for photography. First up was a wander around this wonderful lake nestled amongst the mountains in the Ogwen Valley. The Ogwen Valley, not climbing up Driven because that looks ugly. Instead, we are currently at Lin Idwal or Klin. I don't know how you say it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Raining on and off, very dramatic. Yeah, cool. Very cool spot. Just been set up to take some photos. I initially I've taken a panorama at 24 mil, a vertical one, to fit this whole thing in. It's very dramatic. Even though I'm on the tripod, I've been shooting at ISO 1250 because the clouds are moving really fast, and I personally don't want them to blur at all, but also taking a panorama, I need to have as little time as possible between shots. 1250 is my second base ISO, so it's pretty low in noise as well. I'd be interested to see how these shots turn out.
really quite something here. out of going up that way it got very hairy uh, you're basically climbing up rocks that are all currently a waterfall and um, yeah with the camera gear it makes it really difficult and ungainly so unfortunately we're going back down didn't actually mean to go up that way <laughs> I thought there was a path around the lake at the bottom which I think there still is and we missed the turn off so yeah, anyway we're going back to try that how did we miss this path Oh dear. <laughs> we really weren't paying attention. See the psychos up on the mountain? Let's see if I can get them. No, please. No, please. up above Linogwin the lesson with this one is always look back because this fantastic rainbow appeared behind us I was here to take a photo of this little 
creek running down to towards the lake and Triffin. I, I don't think that's really quite what worked. I think the other ones with the rainbow are going to be much better. And, I, and also I took some without that creek in it, but with the rocks and stuff. So for me, I think they're going to be the better photos, but I'll pop them up and have a look. The following day promised a continuation of the moody weather as we explored another spectacular lake surrounded by rugged mountains. The plan was to head off the main path and walk the entire way around the lake in the hopes that we would avoid the crowds of people. How good is this? We're doing the miners track uh, up to, I've got to remember what it's called, Lin Lador, which is not how you say it in Welsh, but I've given up trying because it just doesn't work. And how atmospheric are these conditions? It's perfect Eight. at the moment. Hey? Eight. Eight? Hmm. Of? You said how atmospheric is it? I said eight. Of what? Probably out of ten. Out of ten. Yeah, is it eight? Okay. <laughs> it was raining a lot earlier, but it stopped before we got here. So, yeah, love this, love it. Uh, it uh, should be a reasonably easy walk today, I think. So, a lot of bang for our buck. And um, up hidden, up hidden in the cloud up there somewhere is Mount Snowden. So, we're not walking up it, but we will see it. I hope <laughs> at some point. <laughs> We just did a branch off from the main track to go around the other side of the lake to hopefully get away from the hordes of people that seem to be here and uh, so far I think we're successful so keep our fingers crossed because yeah we do like the quiet different it's raining it's actually it's it's not very much just now it feels like it was going to rain a bit more but no I think it's lifted again but uh, very atmospheric and our um, taking the the off track is a bit of a pain but there's nobody over here so that's good it's good for the quiet
really slippery. Going into Danny's Moody collection. No Moody. You got your clothes on, it can't be the nudie. Bogging and rock scrambling, scrambling, rock scrambling, river crossing. What <laughs> could come over? I here. said rock scrambling and river crossing. Yeah, <laughs> yes, all of these things, adventuring. Mm. Yeah. When there was no other people. No people. It's what we like.
On our last day in Wales, we were looking forward to a day of castle exploration. However, we discovered the night before that none opened until 10am. This gave us the chance for a quick visit to a magical spot nearby. No, not the sheep paddocks. Sheep don't care. But what lay beyond? The beguiling little fairy glen. Just taking some photos down this beautiful ravine. There's a rock at the front which would be the best spot to take it from other than the fact I think I would end up in the river if I tried to go there because I think it's a bit slippery and yeah I, I thought I wouldn't risk it. Autumn's funny here this year. There's leaves falling off the trees and yet there's a whole lot of leaves that haven't turned, they're still green. I think because it's been a bit warmer, they've gotten a bit confused. Our lovely day continued as we began our castle adventures with the beautiful Conway Castle. Another of the castles built by Edward I, it was completed in 1287 in just four years. in such a stunning location, nestled on the banks of the River Conway, it must have been breathtaking to behold in its heyday. It's a rainbow. Oh, there's one. Just like that. It's gone. ruins are picturesque from the battlements, with the mountains behind in one direction and the river in another. There were moments on top of the towers where it was so windy it was impossible to hold the camera steady. How are you enjoying it? I'm a bit windy. You don't look as windy and wet as I feel. Yeah. Well, the wind's actually taking a moment to have a rest. It's a bit. It's a bit windy. It's a bit windy. A little bit wet. A little bit rainy. A little bit rainy, but more windy. But. <laughs> Don't face this way. Ah. But the wind, rain and sunlight breaking through the clouds were striking. This is 
what most of our trips have been like. This, this is a good capture of what we got used to. And I'm so thankful we got to experience the castle in such weather. Not that any castle we've been to has ever really been a dart. This one's particularly good. Yes. Particularly Could possibly be my favourite castle. Incredibly photogenic. Though we were lucky with the weather out there, with the sun and the mm. rain and the wind and the all sorts of crap going on. <laughs> That's about as wide as a Welsh uh, country road, really. What could go wrong? What could go wrong? Tunnel of death. Someone needs to go fast. So we came to the final location for our stay in North Wales, Carnarvon Castle. Yet another castle built by Edward I. The oldie privy, except there's no hole in it. This lead. Oh, goodness gracious. This is a hidden passageway. So we're going under the wall. There's lots of it. Are you kidding me? Don't tell me it's a dead end. Seriously? How do we get out? Which, that's a trap. I have to go down. That's a trap. Now she's buying a stairway to nowhere. Yeah, that's where we ended up. Mm. Mm. Couldn't have built a stair, so this we could have just walked Ooh. out of it. No. Well, how we roll? Which way to go? This one, I think, is the chapel. There's stairs going up there. There's stairs and a passageway going down there. And then there's what's this? This is another ye olde privy. Car's still there. <laughs> Here's the old privy. This is, privy. this is a nice one. It's got mm, a good view. This is a loo with a view. See, look out over the water. Yeah, there's fresh sea breeze can come in. It's also so when the castle's being attacked, you can still fire at people while you're, you're taking, taking a, a dump. dump. It's mm. Perfect. Or even just fling poo at them out the window. Hmm. What's going on here? Oh, ye olde. Take care, yeah, son. All the other towers we've seen, where you can't go in and they're just hollow. Yeah. This one's actually not the original floor, but... It gives you, give you a, a feel. feel of like, really and, like, and they put windows, windows in. in. So you go, oh yeah, there was windows and a big roof. Cool. I appreciate this. Yeah. Oh, and there's... So but wait, there's on, more. You're on the fireplace. And this is the old privy, probably. Oh no. Not privy? No, this is stairs. Oh, up to the tower. This window looks out the other window. Oh, and that window too. Oh, look. Now I've got to go to the toilet. That's brilliant. Look, the view out there.
two different ages of building there by the looks. Probably lose a small child down here. Yeah, they don't seem too concerned about these shoots, do they? Join this castle. Yeah, it's good. Also good. A bit different to Conway, but also pretty good. Interesting. Lots of different pieces and little rooms and yes, yeah, interesting. Yeah, a lot of under inside the Walls wall stuff, things, which is unusual. Ways and things, which is pretty cool. Yeah. I haven't really done much of that before, so yeah, it's good. Totally worth it. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. was awesome in so many ways and is going to be an incredibly hard act to follow but I reckon our next stop in England's Lake District will give it a good crack. See you there.